Hi, I'm Tira Mitchell from Engraver.com and today I am going to do an unboxing video for my new microscope, the Leica S9i. I got a chance to use an S9i at the MJSA show. Leica was gracious and let me have one for that show and I fell in love with it. And I just got my new Leica. It's so new, in fact, that it's serial number 0001. So I'm going to unbox it and I'm going to show you what it looks like and what it can do. The S9 series is a little different than the A60 series. This has uh, been my workhorse for a couple years now, the A60F. This one comes all in a package. This new one comes a la carte. So today I'm going to put this one on the stand for the A60. And I'm also going to use the A60 light. So let me just get this off of here. So that this is ready to go. Okay. One of the differences between this and the A60 is the A60 has the focusing mechanism right in the back. This new one doesn't, so it needs a cradle, sometimes called a bonder arm, and Leica calls this part the mountable focus arm. So I'm going to install that first so that it will hold this new scope. here. There's how it comes out of the package. I'm going to have to uh, undo this nut and washer. And this part here will go right in it's a 5 8 inch pin and it will go into this arm. Um, right now it's a little loose so I'm going to take it and make sure that it's nice and tight. There's a hex wrench that comes in the package box. I saw it over there. I do this quite a bit so I actually know that it's a, it's a four, yeah, 4 millimeter. Having it come out straight I'm probably going to tilt it just a bit. There are two hex screws here, and I'm just going to tighten them so that the front part is nice and tight and won't move once I put it into the arm of the um, microscope holder here. Okay. Okay. Tighten this down. This is very similar to the A60 video that I did. Tighten that in there. Now the microscope will sit in here and this is the focusing part which is different than on the A60 where it's complete. This part is quite important because if it's not a good quality part with the weight of the microscope it can drift down so this is a nice Leica one. Okay, so here is my S9i. And let me just tilt this so you can see a little bit. The top seems to have all sorts of parts in it here. And we have cable for computer, uh, HDMI cable, uh, electric hookup, oh and a remote. 
it's got a lot of electronic functions on it, so it even comes with its own remote. We have a book of instructions and information and user manuals on DVD. Okay, so I'm not going to tilt this because I don't want it to fall. in the box, so I'm going to get rid of this whole thing here. And this is what the s 9 I looks like. It's got the ports I'll explain in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here. Make sure that it's not gonna. There we go. Now this is this is the one for the A60, so I may have to uh, adjust it so that it can deal with the the heavier weight of this. It looks like it's gonna be fine for now. Good. Okay, <clears throat> this microscope has exchangeable eyepieces. You can actually get the ones that you want. I got 10x eyepieces. Again, this is a slightly different than the A60, which comes as a package. I got uh, one adjustable and one not adjustable eyepiece. The reason that I did that is because the camera, which is up here on the top, um, I want a non-adjustable eyepiece on the side that the camera's looking for so that I can make sure to focus that side when I'm trying to record things in the Trinoc. So, here is the uh, adjustable one. Okay, and I know from working with this at the show that the camera comes off of the right eyepiece so the adjustable one is going to go on the left. And the non-adjustable one is going to go on the right side of the scoop. Okay. These have the eye cups rolled down. You can roll them you can pop them up or keep them down. I tend to like them down. Let me put on my light here. Okay. Now, for this scope, Um, I have to plug it in to be able to use the Trinoc version since the camera and all the electronics are on board. I'm going to go and do that now and I'll have it all set up in a minute. Okay, uh, this is the uh, USB cable which can plug into the computer. It is also the electricity. This really cool part that plugs in to uh, a wall flips out like that, and then the USB cable part goes here, and I'll plug that in in a second, and then this part goes right up here. And then the HDMI cable, which we just plugged into the TV, goes in the HDMI part here. Okay. 
and then this would be for a network port or a hub, which I'm not going to set up today. I'll do how-to videos on how some of the electronics work in the future. Today it's just to get it up and running. Now when this gets plugged in, you get a red flashing light that can apparently flash for a while, maybe up to 30 seconds. Um, eventually it will stop flashing, it will become green, and then you can use everything, all of the electronics. Um, at the show, I didn't touch it until it actually went green, so there we go. So you can change the mode very easily between uh, output to the computer USB, uh, network port, or the HDMI. Very simple. I'm going to do the HDMI. I have to just pull up my TV here now. Okay. <clears throat> One thing that Leica ships uh, all of their scopes with is they have a piece of tape and it keeps the mechanism from moving and it's on the highest magnification so I'm going to go down to the lower magnification so I can try to get this thing There you go. So I can't wait to play with it. I'm going to be working with it tomorrow and I can't wait to, to see what it can really do. So thanks for watching this unboxing video of the S9i. Uh, we have them on our website available now and that's at engraver.com. Thanks.